Well, hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, this week in the UK we are on our half term break, so we're all having a, a really much needed um, week off our teaching. And um, one of the things, and it's beautiful weather as well, I have to say, absolutely glorious weather. So lots of being outside, sitting in the sun, that's what I would recommend if you're in the UK at the moment. And one thing you might want to do whilst you're on your holidays, or even if you're not, and that is to read a book. Now, people often ask me, um, or often say to me, I was just trying to look at your bookshelf, Sally, to see what books you've had. As you can tell I do I do like books in fact I don't think there's a room in our house that doesn't have books in it and one of the books I'm reading at the moment not one of my three but one of the books I'm reading is this one which is the Andrew Schiff and I think that's probably backwards for you music comes out of silence and um, this is our curious book club read at the moment so two of our curious members um, have set this up as a book club and that is a good read I must admit but there is something I think particularly special about books, especially at this time when we're spending so long, aren't we, online and dealing with technology, that there is something very real about a book, clearly, and it, it is visceral and I can touch it, it's very tangible. But I also find that for me, books, the, the words leap off the page in a way that they don't when I'm reading them necessarily online, especially in a book format. And also, um, I think our memories are better for remembering what things look like on a page. So I thought I'd just share with you today just three books that I really like and um, have read and um, or I'm reading. You know, it's, it's that kind of thing. And um, and hopefully, you know, to inspire you to go and take a book off your shelf and, and sit down, find a bit of quiet this week and read it. Something that is nothing to do with the computer nothing to do with teaching the piano, potentially. So um, the first one I've got is a book called The Advice Trap and this is a fairly recent book and it's by uh, Michael Bungay Stanya. I'm sorry it's all backwards, mirror, mirror image. We'll see whether it is on the actual um, uh, live video or not. But this book is the follow-up to a book called um, hmm, Oh, I've forgotten what it's called now. Um, the Coaching Habit, I think it is. And oh, that's right, The Coaching Habit. And this features the Advice Monster. And we have borrowed the Advice Monster from Michael Bungay Stanya. And he actually gave a short talk about this for us in the community. And um, it, it's a fantastic book. And it's about coaching, which I think is kind of what we do on the piano. And it's subtitled Be Humble, Stay Curious. You can see why I like it, can't you? And change the way you lead forever. So that would be one, one little book from my shelf that I can recommend. Second book, and these are just in order of size, by the way, on here. This book is called uh, Mark Plan Teach. And it's by a fab chap called uh, Ross Morrison McGill, who's a classroom teacher, has been a classroom teacher, deputy head at a school. And he runs a, um, a very, very popular um, Twitter account called um, Teacher Toolkit. Teacher Toolkit, that's what it's called. And this is kind of um, distilled wisdom on that. Mark Plan Teach. And I love the way that he brings together the different ideas, the latest ideas that are going on into how we learn, how children learn, how best to go about this, this tricky thing of marking and planning and teaching. Now, OK, we might not do the marking, but it's interesting to see how the whole thing is working in a cycle because we don't mark but we do other things instead so that would be my second one mark plan teach just taken off my bookshelf barely at random and the third one i would really recommend is a great book by professor stephen walsh on debussy and this is called a painter in sound and it is a really really beautiful book uh, beautifully written all about debussy who just happens to be one of my composers so um and it, it is more biographical than than um, interpretive but there are definite insights and it's not just based on the piano but it on Debussy generally so that would be um, another book I would very much recommend so just those three Debussy, Mark Plan Teach 
and Food Life Track. Just three of the books um, from my shelves. Obviously, you're not going to read those, but grab a book, a real book. Sit down, give yourself an hour or so, maybe a couple of times this week, and just do that reading because you'll find it's like giving your brain a mini holiday or even a novel. I love novels. I read them at night and I fall asleep constantly to them. But, you know, it is like going on a mini holiday. It gives your brain a real break and it engages it in a very different way. So that's it for me for this week. And um, I'm just going to say I'm sorry I wasn't here last week, but I had a tooth problem. I had the face. One side of it was the size of a boom. So you really, really wouldn't have liked to see that. I hope you were well. Great to see some of you watching. I see Joanne's there. Hi, Joanne. I know Maya was there as well. Any more people going? And Nina's there as well. And Janet's there. So thank you all so much. Hope you're all having a good time because I know you're all based in the UK. So enjoy your half term break. Take care. See you next week. Bye bye for now.